Okay, I'm going to show Tempo Weave, a small example to generate a shadow weave design. So I'll click New and maximize my screen. I'm going to first go into Settings and change my shafts and treadles to 8. I'm going to go into Tools and Project Information and set my set at 24 ins per inch and my picks per inch at 24 so that I can see the size of my scarf design. So the first thing I need to do is to take a free draw tool and draw a little curvy line here for my pattern line. Do one kind of long, I'll do one a little shorter, a little steeper, see what it'll look like. So I have these three little design lines. Not very weavable, but what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into two parallel lines. And what we want to have is beside one, we're going to want our next warp thread to be four shafts away on five. So this other line will come up here, and when we get to five, the, that second line wraps around to one. And if you know anything about shadow weave, usually you use a dark and a light color, and that makes the shadowy effect. So I'll do a tie up, and I'll do one, two, seven, and eight. Go to the tie up tool and do repeat twill. Okay, now let's do the fun part and generate our parallel line. I'll go tools and echo. The first thing I'll do is I'm going to set a dark and a light color. And I'm going to do the drop down and do echo two, meaning only two par all I want is two parallel lines. And my shift, as we mentioned before, will be four on this one. So when I hit apply, I'm going to close this panel so we can see. I now have twice as many warp pins, and I have two parallel lines. So let's do a trompus writ to get some weft threads that are in the same uh, treadling as colors and sequence as the threading. I'll do include color and click OK. So now I'll change the zoom level so you can see it. This is one repeat that we want to put in the scarf. So let's go into the design tab and do a quick repeat and repeat the warp. If I repeat it one more time, I've got 9.1 inches. And this, maybe I want it a little wider than that. So if I repeat it twice, I've got 13.7. On the left, I'll do a few, few repeats so I can see what's going on. Like let's go to 22. And when I hit apply, and I'll close this panel, now we can see that the width is quite a bit bigger, and we can see more or less what the scarf design will look like. If I wanted to, I could go in and there's a simple color placer tool. Um, if I wanted to put, oh, I don't know, a stripe of green um, on here, and maybe I wanted to start it at uh, warp 60 and go for uh, 30 repeats of those two, I could do that. I have a stripe there. Maybe in the weft, I wanted to start it at 40 and do it for 60 repeats. I can do that. And I can close this panel and then I can zoom out and see what it looks like. So um, you can pull, you can spend a lot of time playing with color and doing some interesting what ifs and there are more color tools available as well. So at this point in time we have a, a weavable design. Um, you can do a file and a save as, give it a name, and um, you can share it with a friend. You can open it in other weaving software because this the WIF standard should be um, usable by any of the weaving design softwares. And you, you can load it directly into Tempo Treadle as well. So that concludes this quick demo.